Full dive technology has been perfected. Escape this reality of war and famine to live a life of luxury. Travel to distant galaxies and stars on a supergalactic yacht. Be Batman, Superman, or even the president of the world. Live the life you want and exchange the protein blocks of today with stakes of tomorrow. Travel to your local scanning tool for more information. Full Dive is our future. The day this technology arrives, billions will exchange their physical existence for a chance at digital perfection. There are several companies working towards this vision, and I believe this is humanity's last invention. In this video, we will try to answer one question, and that's when will Full Dive be here? If you don't already know what Full Dive is, essentially it's teleporting your consciousness to a digital metaverse, or any experience for that matter. Think The Matrix, Tron, or Sword Art Online. Instead of playing a game on a 2D screen, or even VR, you are actually there. You can feel the wind in your digital hair, the ground in clothes on your digital skin. This might sound impossible, but this could be humanity's inevitable fate. Our end game, digital perfection for everyone. Your own personal heaven inside our own reality. There are several companies working on this technology and they come in two forms. A non-intrusive brain computer interface and an intrusive brain computer interface, or BCI for short. Neuralink is the most prominent intrusive BCI company, as they intend at some point to release to the general public, and not just patients with disabilities. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to focus my attention here, as non-intrusive BCIs that are not directly connected to the brain have not shown any scientific evidence for brain data input, which is going to be essential if you'd like to connect to the metaverse of the future. Currently, intrusive BCIs can fix minor disabilities, such as loss of sight or difficulty hearing, which shows evidence that input is possible. And with that, we can influence the brain's output with digital signals. This is really promising. That means the potential of full dive passes its first stage. What sets Neuralink apart is the amount of electrodes they are using. A traditional BCI would use up to 64 electrodes directly implanted into the brain and would allow for the interactions with the neurons by firing a current down each one. But Neuralink is using a BCI with over 3,000 electrodes, allowing for 50 times over the competition. Also, when one of the smartest humans in the world says something like this. Excellent. So this one came up a lot, and this particular question is from Yosef, but will this technology ever be used for gaming? Yeah, probably. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. The plausibility of full dive is starting to sound realistic. But when could Neuralink give us this technology? Well, the problem with understanding if this is possible is you need human experience. No single human alive could tell you what it's like to have a BCI as complex as a Neuralink. But human trials are supposedly going to start this year. But knowing Elon time. This is probably going to be next year or the year after. If I had to guess how a BCI could give full dive, I would say it needed to manipulate your dream state, as our dreams are already our own personal full dive. It just lacks control. A BCI could hijack your dreams and put you in a server instead. Once the real world data is here, then we can begin to truly speculate when full dive will be here. If the first patients can interface with the BCI's input and output, then it's almost guaranteed that we will get this technology. But this doesn't stop us from guessing. Because we are in unknown territory, we can give an answer to what the minimum time frame could be, and that would obviously be the first time humans receive a Neuralink. We might strike lucky, and somehow the data flows freely between the two. So you could say it's possible from late 2022, 2023. But let's just say Neuralink needs time to mature. And for that, we'll use the path of smartphones as the technology is similar. For smartphones to reach their peak in development, it took around 10 years to get the fluid, easy to use devices we have today. So if we apply that to the early inception of Neuralink, that gives us an estimate of around 2032 to 2033, which is, well, incredibly close. The thing is, full dive could never happen. And that's a certain possibility. Even top neuroscientists don't understand even a fraction of the brain. We might strike lucky or we might not. Either way, this doesn't stop us from dreaming. 
Full dive would rapidly change human behaviour, and unfortunately, history tells us when a large portion of a population change what they are doing, a collapse usually follows. So maybe the adaptation of a perfect digital world may just destroy our physical one. If full dive was available today, would you dive in? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.